Good morning, friends. It is Tuesday morning, and this morning I am looking for semi keys. Um, yeah. So James actually cannot find one of his sets of keys for his semi. He said the last time he saw them, he put them on the kitchen table Thursday. So I've been in search of his keys that are missing. Have not found them. Thought I'd walk around the yard and see if he had dropped them out here at some point but they are not out here. So I'm gonna go search the house some more, see if I can find them, and hopefully I do. Other than that, um, what are we doing today? Um, I'm gonna make some French toast casserole, I think, and that depends on if I have to drive keys to the city though. And um, we're gonna do some garden work, I'm trying really hard to get my garden back in order, and we have some homeschooling to do. We're gonna start a new read aloud today. We are gonna do a new activity during read alouds today. And I don't know, but I'm gonna bring you guys along today. And I have no clue what we're making for dinner yet. I have not looked around in the freezer and made a plan. I really need to get back into the weekly meal planning. It's so much easier and I can just take things out a day or two ahead of time to thaw, but I've just not been in that frame of mind. So, we'll go look around and see what we're going to make. Okay, so we are working on a French toast casserole. I have some French bread here. I'm just going to cut this up into cubes. And once I get it all cubed up, we'll put the rest of our ingredients together. I watch you as you dry. Here is our cubed up bread and then over in my bowl, I have eight eggs and about a cup of milk. And I'm gonna add our cinnamon and Mexican vanilla to this, get it all mixed up, pour it over our bread mixture, and then kind of mix it around with a spoon, make sure everything's coated and get it cooking. Now, if I was cooking this on my slow cooker function, it would have to cook for two hours on high. Mine has a bake function, so I'm gonna put this on 325, 350, probably 350, and let it cook for 30 minutes or until my eggs have cooked through. And then we will scoop it out into bowls and top it with syrup. Forever, forever, forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. So guess what we found? We found his keys. Where you might ask? Well, on the key rack because that's where keys belong. Don't ask me why James overlooked them. I overlooked them. CJ overlooked them. And then Mika walked right up and picked them up and handed them to us. Here is our breakfast this morning. We have um, some key lime yogurt and our French toast casserole. That's what I still need to do on this end. All of that is done. And then I have all of this to do. I ended up taking six wheelbarrows full of weeds out of the garden today, and I still have a ton more work to do, but the horses are happy and I'm happy with my progress. When they are finished eating all of these weeds, we are gonna power wash out their water and refill it, but I'm gonna give them some time to eat down all this grass before we do that. 
and I am going to bring in all the veggies that I picked and get those put up so that none of it goes bad. And this is, by the way, that's Shiloh on the right. On the left, that's Blaze. Blaze is the one that we did not know was pregnant when we got her. And then, of course, Mr. Fred. And in the back, that was little Bob. Okay, so I bagged up some squash to put in the freezer. I sliced up some squash very thinly to make like a squash au gratin. I shredded some up to put in bread, and then I shredded up a zucchini to put in bread as well. Speaking of bread, Maddie wanted to help me out, so she's making some zucchini bread with me this morning. I just pre-measured everything for her, and then she cracked the eggs into a bowl, and I'm going to let her put everything into my bread machine. We are going to set it on the quick bread setting and let it do all the mixing and baking, but Maddie had a fun time just helping me with the cracking of the eggs and putting everything into my bread machine. Okay, now what do we do? We pour our eggs in there. All right, go ahead and add the zucchini. Wow. Right on top of the flour. Good job. You wanna go ahead and scrape the rest out of the bowl? Now we're going to start it. But can you push start? Yes. Yep. There it goes. I almost forgot I was going to add these trilogy seeds to our bread, so I'm going to add those while it's mixing. If you fall down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I what a beautiful picture. And you got inside it. Little kids. Aww. Jumping from cliffs so high. Okay guys, so I was working with Mika on her schoolwork, realized it was 12.30 and I needed to get lunch going. So we made up some smoked sausages and mac and cheese. The kids have theirs on buns. They went out to do it picnic style out in the yard. So they're out there eating. I'm gonna eat this up real quick. Check on my zucchini bread. Take out some ground pork for tonight's dinner. We are gonna do um, raviolis tonight. I have some cheese raviolis in the freezer. We are gonna make up some sauce with some ground, um, ground pork and some of our spaghetti sauce we can. So we're gonna be having that with squash au gratin on the side and also some French bread with just butter on it. That's the dinner plan. Like I said, kids are out eating. Mika's almost done with her work. James, Penny, and Maddie need to do theirs still. Not James, CJ, Penny, and Maddie need to do theirs still. James is on the road with his dad. Um, Penny went last week and so he wanted to go this week. I talked to his speech office and they said, go for it, take a week off, have fun with dad. So he's on the road for the week, headed to, I believe, South Dakota. Yeah, South Dakota. Um, and then from there, I'm not sure. Okay, her bread is finished and it came out beautiful. We are actually going to go ahead and slice this up while it's warm and fresh because the kids want to eat it for a snack today. Hey, darling, can I tell you it has been several hours since I filmed anything, but I'm getting dinner going. So I have two bags of raviolis, a quart of spaghetti sauce, some diced tomatoes, and a pint of ground beef that is in beef broth. Miss Maddie is going to pour everything into the Instant Pot, and then we are going to set this on manual for six minutes, let it cook, and then do a quick release, and it'll be ready to serve up. Okay, I started our au gratin and forgot to film, so I stopped real quick to show you guys. I have our squash layered in the bottom. We seasoned it with some Payne County Gold seasoning, added some onions, and then I started putting shredded cheese on top. I'm gonna finish putting the shredded cheese on now, 
and add some slices of bacon and let this bake for about 15 minutes at 350 and then it'll be ready to serve up as a side for our raviolis. I also went ahead and threw together a quick salad. I don't have any tomatoes, so I just did lettuce, cucumbers, and cheese in our salad, but it's a salad still the same. So we have our raviolis, our squash, our salad, and we have French bread with butter. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out. The countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand basswood tree and enjoy the primitive forest a wind <laughs> rises as the sun warms the earth the haze moves off and i see my pond my mill house and the root cellar the first year i lived here i only had a tree a bed and a fireplace but one idea led to another and the next thing i knew i had built myself a habitat okay our raviolis are finished cooking i'm going to add some shredded cheese and just mix it up and let the cheese melt and then we are going to get plates made Dinner is finished and we are making some plates now. The kids are currently putting up chickens and then we are gonna do some more of our read alouds before bedtime. North of New York City. Solomon had claimed that he had entered the world in the month of July, 1808. Since Solomon's mother was a free black woman, he was born free. On his father's side, Solomon's ancestors had been slaves belonging to a white family named Northup. Thank you guys so much for coming along today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.